See, when you're tweaking, your spirit animal is a fucking squirrel. Look at these little fuckers. This one's just fucking... He's on fucking fentanyl. The other ones are... He took my loose, bro. He jacked my loose and he left me in the tree. Little fuckers, you know? Quick, man, let me hide my dope in your fucking, uh, in your nuts. We'll crack the nuts open, we'll fucking hide the dope in there, and then I can figure out where you fucking hit it, you know? Well, it'll, it'll be a nutty, nutty, teeny fucking, uh, nutty fucking, teeny fucking, loony, teeny fucking, you know, I, over at the fucking, uh, at the one place they called me fucking, uh, sock full of loonies, you know? One native guy at the fucking, uh, at the center, you know? Holy fucking hypervigilance, eh? Oh, so you watch the squirrel attacking, that'd be fucking classic, eh? I'm pretty sure these fucking squirrels are. They fucking see. There's my mind in a fucking nutshell. Doesn't shut the fuck up. Wily little fuckers, eh? What the fuck's your amazing? Uh oh. You're getting brazen. Come here, let me give you a shard, motherfucker. We'll see where you're fucking, you'll be fucking turning into a flying squirrel then. He's like, you know the one who's opened Odin's gate. Dude, I don't get out, I don't get out enough, man, holy shit. <sighs> Holy fuck, I never seen them so fucking it's like, <laughs> See, even the fucking see even they're pissed off at me. They're just like, oh oh yeah, it's you again, eh? You're still fucking going, eh? No, I've never seen squirrels act like that before. Though. That is a trip. Kind of like how uh, my family gets when they know I'm fucking high. They're just like all like jumping all up and down and shit. See, it's funny too because people say that like you're paranoid and shit like that. But a lot of weird shit fucking just happens when you're high on fucking drugs. I think it's because of the fucking, uh, what the fuck did my one buddy call it? It's like you're in an altered state of consciousness, right? So when you're walking around, you're not going to. Be manifesting the normal shit that you'd normally manifest, right? Like, I've never fucking seen squirrels do that shit. What the fuck is wrong with them? I fucking, fucking, you know, you're fucking high and you're walking down the street and you're fucking paranoid of a fucking squirrel, eh? Personalconfessor.com, eh? Well, there's no need to do that, man. Fuck. I'm right out in the fucking, fucking open with it. I tell you right off the bat, man. Fuck you. I'm, um, you know, I know we're having a good conversation and everything. Intellectual conversation, but, uh, you know. Hate to see it, but I'm on, I'm on methamphetamines. Oh, it's, it's, it's like a fucking light switch, you know? Yes. Because it has to be fucking said, right? See, no CTS sites, no injection sites, right? Well, what would you rather than fucking throw them all over the fucking playgrounds and shit like that? Like, you know, because apparently nowadays, you know, it's, 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 it's fucking impossible to be a responsible drug user. And actually, you know, if you're going to shoot up, you know, maybe you should take your fucking needle and put it in a bag somewhere and, you know, clean up after your mess, you know? Like, uh... <laughs> Back when I was, like, vaporizing and shit like that, you didn't see me fucking leaving pipes and fucking all kinds of stupid shit around. No, you go to wherever the fuck it is you go, you do your dose, and you go about your fucking day. See, that's the thing. People, like, see those faces of meth image, and it's just dumb because, you know, 
I have many different, like, examples of how, like, there's, like, many brilliant fucking, you know, minds and, like, mathematicians that fucking use amphetamines. It's, it's a stimulant that keeps you going, focused on whatever the fuck it is you're doing. And then you take too much, then you're fucking all over the place. You can't focus, you're focused on everything. You're so hypersensitive that everything is, um, like, you'll hear fucking noises like that. And it'll fucking make you all jumpy and shit like that. It's like, you can feel like there's a fucking, uh... Like, some sort of a fucker is gonna, like, pop out of another dimension. Like, fucking, you know, fucking blindside you or something. It's like, what the fuck? You know? But you just gotta tell yourself, eh, fuck. Sleep deprivation. Lack of any fucking, uh, you know, not as much nutrients and shit. Over-stimulating the central nervous system. Because here are the, the, the main problems. <laughs> It's, um, when taken in excessive and abused, it, it fucking overworks your central nervous system, plus your dopamine receptors. It releases so much fucking dopamine that, you know, it's it's not a normal release of dopamine, right? It's not, um, like homeostasis or, um, balance, you know? Like, when you eat food or you do something that's pleasurable, you release dopamine. All this does that, and it, like, fucking, yeah, so... Anybody who, um, is, like, knocking fucking trigger, or, like, somebody's trying to fucking, you know, like, actually fucking be legit about it, and fucking, you know, like, I went into this kind of shit, just exploring consciousness, and then when I found this substance, it wasn't like any other substance, it was more of just like, okay, well, I don't even feel like a hot, it's, it's hard to explain, it's not really like a high, it's almost like, um, being in the best mood you've ever been, but for, like, a long period of fucking time, and then, like, you're just, like, everything is sharp, crystal fucking clear, like, <laughs> no pun intended, or was it? No pun? No hamburger bun? No? No, well, see? Yeah, we'll see what I do, is, um, I tend to push myself to the absolute point of, like, you know, like, just fucking, like, cross-chattered fucking, uh, like, completely fucking incoherent but also very fucking uh creative uh just ways of saying like coming up with new fucking words like right now how long have i been talking i haven't fucking stopped um that's another problem with it is it uh if somebody else is fucking sober and you're near them they'll probably just talk their fucking ear off even if it is an interesting uh deep conversation like i like to get into uh, like, like just everything Oh, like fucking let's look into spirituality let's look into fucking if you're like well drugs aren't spiritual it's a physical well fuck it's not that the drug is spiritual well it kind of is in a sense you know um this is my fucking belief well it's not really a belief it's like my knowing um like fucking indigenous they used to say that everything has a, a spirit to it even inanimate objects right um and of course, then the spirit of the plant, which, um, the majority, I'm pretty much sure, pretty sure all fucking drugs are derived from some sort of a plant or some sort of a natural, uh, some sort of a natural compound. I don't really see very many, I have to look more into chemistry, like, I'm not a fucking, I'm not like a fucking genius know-it-all, but I do know, like, a lot of shit, and that's the thing, I don't understand how a doctor, or, you know, like, oh, he's got the credentials and all this kind of shit, but has he ever taken these amphetamines or whatever that he's fucking giving to the, you know, like, how do they fucking, um, you know what I mean, like, like, when you look at certain things in the world, it's like, how the fuck did they do that, you know, like, how the fuck did they manage to pull it off, you look into it, it's still kind of, there's still something missing, you know, and that's the thing about fucking knowledge and life and trying to figure shit out, it's like, it's, you're, you're, it's, it just never fucking ends, as soon as you think you've got something figured out, no, curveball, fucking curveball, well, that's, that's the whole beauty of it, though, right, it's a mystery, it's the great fucking mystery, but then, there's certain things that you see, that, to you as an individual, make it not so mysterious, and to other people, a little bit mysterious, I go, fucking, you should have heard me the other night. I should have recorded all of it. Next time, if I go on a fucking rambling bramble like that, like, I was just fucking 
in the fucking zone, you know, I was saying shit, I didn't even care if it fucking came out retarded, if it came out, like, it just, fucking some of the one-liners are just like, what the fuck are you talking about, you fucking retard, I don't fucking know, I think it's fucking the spirit of the ephedra plant, you know, you know, they call it, they, the, the, the fucking name that they call it down here, the street uh, slang term, you know, that is if you're getting, like, real fucking ice by a fucking uh, supplier who actually knows the chemists and shit like that, you know, not this shake and bake fucking bathtub um, bullshit that they have, like, just because it's from the streets doesn't mean that the quality isn't there, it's just a lot rarer to find, and the stigma surrounding this fucking thing is just completely fucking horrendous, you know, it, it pisses me off, you know, because... Like, I'd be, like, literally fucking minding my own business, doing my fucking shit, and, oh, oh, he's motivated, oh, he's getting a bunch of shit, oh, he's on his, oh, he's on his, gets, yeah, and then all these fucking people try to come in your lane and, like, try to, like, it's like, what the fuck is, get the fuck out of here, it's either that or you don't, I don't fucking really care what the fuck it is, but to me it's pretty obvious what the fuck it is, why would, why would it be every time you're fucking motivated and, um, actually fucking starting to fucking make some headway, some progress, boom, back to fucking square one, <laughs> oh, it must be that magical square they got you in, right, you know, people don't think, uh, people could fucking actually, you know, do damage with fucking this kind of, you know, magic and all this kind of shit, but it fucking, it can, especially when you got a bunch of fucking people doing it against you, and oh, nobody knows anything, right, they're all fucking, <laughs> Because when you confront people, you know, sometimes it's fucking, it is your own paranoid delusions, you know, and that's why I'm very cautious about trying, you know, I don't like to make assumptions about something that's, that's just a fucking, uh, you know, an illusion in my head, but sometimes you see things when you're high and it's the same thing as when you're sober, it's, it's more of like with the crystal, it's the fucking, you know, the lack of food and the fucking... Uh, not giving yourself a break and going and going and going and going and going. Like my na- my mind's already naturally like a fucking like a fucking squirrel, right? <sighs> to get anything else is fucking simple, but to shut my mind off, I think this is why I like um, to sedate myself so much, right? This particular is for, for, this particular drug is a tool for specific purposes, right? Just like cannabis has its purpose, you know, like, I'm not fucking trying to, um, promote or fucking say, um, you know, people should do chemicals or, um, or anything like that, but I just think it's been over-exaggerated and over, like, like, flock a dance man, like, are you kidding me? So they're, like, going like that all over the fucking street, right? Yeah. If I was doing that, I wouldn't be fucking, I wouldn't be doing it, you know? But see, this is the thing. Whenever I push myself and I get really fucked, I don't blame the fucking drug. I blame myself because it was me that made the decision to get fucked up, not the fucking drug. And see, that's the thing, too. Like, anybody who looks at that and, like, just gets disgusted, if you gave them some, they would completely fucking change their fucking mind as soon as it fucking hit them. And like, oh, how come I'm getting you? Know, yeah, you want to do something? Like, think about the most boring task and, you know, mundane fucking... You know, shit that, you know, shit that you have to do. Well, this is the kind of substance that it, it, it gets you from point A to point B, you know? And with a smile, dude, it's like, fuck. Like, nobody likes fucking washing dishes, right? I mean, you, you, you gotta wash them, right? Uh, but on meth, it's fucking thing. Look at the shine, you know? You know, like, it's, it's fucking... I don't know how to explain it. Um, but see, this is the thing, right? It's become... First, it was an interest... Uh, you know, that turned into, like, a hobby, and then, of course, it turned into a fucking addiction, like, I don't deny that I fucking have a problem with it, but I also don't like how it's, how it's downplayed, and, like, how it's, like, you know, they've got all these people, oh, you've never done the fucking shit before, but, uh, you know, ooh, I learned from other people's mistakes, well, who the fuck are you looking at, and why the fuck do you care, you know? Because, you know, the true teacher here is experience, you know. You may be able to have, like, empathy and put yourself in that person's shoes. But um, to really go through the experience yourself, 
is there it is the pinnacle you know, the pinnacle of my fucking uh my my mess days you know see this is that, that there it is right there you go up except with meth you go along like this for a while and then you come down so it's more of like a flat top mountain <laughs> peak whatever the fuck you want to call it see i i make videos and I, I i just fucking i just go off and i don't really care if people watch it or not you know I know there's certain people that watch me and they just, just, just oh my god oh fuck you know they're just perfect people you know they gotta fucking judge everything um yeah these people wouldn't fucking survive if fucking being in fucking certain fucking situations I've been through yeah every time I see a duck now I think of Ariel you know oh see See, like, I just heard something in the background. It was either a, an audible sound from behind me. Yeah, it was just an audible sound. See what I mean, though? Like, uh, it gets to a point where you're, you can't, for some reason, I'm not sure what, what it is that triggers it. Like, at what point your, your brain goes, no, no, everything's a threat now. And then it goes into fight or flight mode. Like, if I was going for a bit longer, that squirrel would be fucking tripping me the fuck out, I'd be like, yo, that squirrel's something fucking weird, you know, and then the squirrel's just looking at you like, the fuck's wrong with this guy, <laughs> and that's all it really is, but like, you swear to God, every everything is fucking talking, talking about you, or talking shit about you, and I think what it is, is like, any slight, um, like, negative, like, you know, say a person may be slightly upset with something about you, or whatever, that will be amplified times a million, and it will just, it'll just seem like, you know, like you got to go in fight or flight mode. And then you got to put yourself in a mindset of, okay, this is all in my head. This is all in my head, right? But yeah, you try fucking doing that though. Cause you, <laughs> yeah, it's not fucking easy. I don't care what anybody says. It takes a strong mentality to be able to push through that kind of like a paranoid fucking state of being. And then actually come out of it fucking, well, at least somewhat halfway fucking sane. I don't, know. I don't really give a fuck if people think I'm fucking saying you're not. These fuckers, eh? And of course, you know, I got my copper wire shank, you know, in case somebody comes at me, I I poke them and then it'll beam a frequency in their eye, you know. I just did that for effect, you know, I thought it'd be funny. But I do pick up signals with this shit, you know, like I go like that and I like put them in the air and there you go, I'm the fucking human fucking tweaker antenna. That jacket's blinding, bro. <laughs> fucking so green, it's fucking past green. It's fucking more neon than green. See, so even the Dutch are like, fuck this. You guys should, uh, you know. Look, 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 look. Look. I think you're telling me something. All the chatter that I sent out into the universe is coming back, back at me with the, you know, the ducks. Yeah, I know. It's fucking crazy, eh? Maybe I should go buy an eight ball and throw it in there. And just, you know, you know, just a little one. They'll fly south and fucking, you know. Back up north in fucking two weeks, you know, probably even, probably even less. Yeah, and see, this is the thing about this shit, too, because every time you're like, oh, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit. No, you're fucking not. No, you're fucking not. And if there's anything I fucking lie about, it's that. It's fucking quitting. Quitting doing this shit. And I feel like I'm lying to myself, too, every time. It's like, because it, it feels more like it's a force thing. Like, it's like everybody around me and concerned or... Well, it shouldn't be the honest, and the birds are calling me a tweaker, and, well, shit, man, you know, I'm a stubborn fucking bastard, you know, I want to fucking push it to the absolute limit, you know, I want, you gotta feel that fucking, sometimes you just gotta push it, that's just the point, you know, 
basically what I was trying to do, well, I know it came across as I just looked like a fucking lun jabbering lunatic, but I was trying to, like, just show, like, hey, you know, all this fucking stupid shit that you hear, um, is fucking dumb. These people are already fucked in the head, um, and who the fuck isn't fucked in the head at least some, you know, somewhat? Like, who the fuck goes on somebody's fucking channel that they don't like and just sit there and fucking just, uh, you know, try to get a fucking narcissistic supply, you know, try to get a reaction. And my buddy's like, oh, yeah, man. Your words are like nectar to these fucking, these fuckers. Oh, I'm good. I'll fucking, you know. Because usually when I fucking respond, it, it's like there's no other way of looking at it. It's only their way of looking at it. And like this, that, and fucking so forth and so on. It's like, what the fuck? Like, who are these fucking people, man? It's like, do people even fucking speak from experience anymore, you know? Sometimes I just fucking just say whatever fucking comes to the top of my head, and I don't care what the fuck it sounds like. But that's just the thing, right? I sound like a tick, I sound like fucking retarded, or I sound like whatever the fuck you want to think, or fucking think I call I am. <laughs> But yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not a fucking, definitely not a fucking idiot, that's for fucking sure. Well, there's certain things, you know, everybody does shit that they're, you know. It's just most people, they're not, uh, displaying it on, like, fucking, uh, media or social media and shit like that, you know. Like, whoever these fucking people are that fucking, uh, watch my channel, I don't really give a fuck. They don't fucking post videos, they don't even show their fucking face, because they're fucking, they're, they're, you know, because they're perfect, you know, they can never do no wrong, pretty sure these people have the fucking most skeletons in their fucking closet, because, um, if somebody's acting really fucking nice to me, you know, like, a little bit too fucking, I, it makes me suspicious, it makes me like, oh, so what the fuck are you trying to get out of me, what kind of ma manipulation tactic are you, and then when you have trust issues from, uh, being burned so many fucking times, you start to develop this mistrust, and then, Add amphetamines and paranoid fucking delusions, and there you fucking go, right? You can't fucking trust anybody. You can't trust the fucking turd that came out of the duck, you know? Yeah, duck was actually my first word, you know? See, everybody's like, oh, it's so 3D, it's so, you know... It's well, you're in the vessel, you're having the human experience, the fucking experience it, you know? Is everything gonna be... You gotta be able to balance the spirituality out. Like, spirituality, fucking... Spiritual, mental, physical, whatever other fucking dimensional fucking... Because I keep getting this, uh... Oh, this is a soul trap, it's all fucking... This, that's... You know, it's like, fuck off with the fucking archons, you know? tired of fucking hearing about the archons and all these fucking stupid fucking things and none of it's uh positive like whenever you're trying to look for fucking oh it's what's really going on you know it's always like oh doomsday fucking and that's how you know it's all bullshit we're creators we manifest the fucking reality around us then why the fuck are we sitting there watching a bunch of shit that we don't even know if, if it's even fucking true you're watching it you're watching it through a fucking screen how the fuck do you know any of it's fucking real? Most of the information people get is from that, you know? And if it's from a book, it doesn't really necessarily make it any fucking better. But it is better than fucking, uh, than fucking, yeah, watching fucking tube. <laughs>